This is so comfortable. We're gonna write a song about how you need to simplify your life. Oh, oh, oh see, this shouldn't be here. It's gonna take you a week of labor. Okay, I don't know what he's talking about. If I saw all this like crazy cat lady stuff, I would get, I would get out of here. <laughs> Find your life today on a dime. I'm scared. Hi everybody, I'm Merle and this is my apartment. I have an interior designer and I have a minimalist designer. I'm gonna have them make over my apartment. I've got a vision for this place, but I don't exactly know how to fine tune that vision <laughs> into something that might be more, uh, let's just say clean. I'm really excited. I'm gonna try not to take this personally. I feel like we should just get started. Let's do this thing. Hi, I'm Helene Cornell. I'm a designer. My style is very minimal and clean and simple. Hi, I'm David Rios and I'm a designer. I've been designing for 22 years now. My style is, I would say, a mixture between gaudy meets Simplicity. I think when you come home, it should be relaxing, it should be tranquil. You shouldn't have a lot of things distracting you from your alone, quiet time. I don't want to take away. I want to simplify it, but keep it everything that's currently there. My apartment is very much like a jungle. I love plants. Some people may say I have a problem. <laughs> Whatever. I try to make my apartment an amalgamation of like all of my experiences. I want to have like unique things that other people don't have and things that are gonna, when I look at them remind me of a happy time or of a person that I love. Love that, love that. I am so excited to get Meryl's apartment really clean and simple and organized. I really want her to fall in love with her own items that she has currently in her home. I'm excited. All right, here we are. Oh wow, this is so cute. Thank you. Okay. It's great well, light. Walking into Meryl's apartment, I was kind of congested, a little bit was suffocated in a certain way, but as I started looking at things, it really became very simplistic. I really like Meryl's apartment because she has an amazing aesthetic. She obviously has done a lot of traveling, she's very worldly, and I love that personality trait of her. There's just a lot going on. Do we really need all of it? I'm really nervous right now. I'm like, <laughs> this is so personal. I didn't like anticipate how personal this would be. I don't think I thought all the way through just how vulnerable it is to invite the world into your apartment. And not only into your apartment, but to have your apartment picked apart by two professionals. There's a lot of knickknacks. Yeah. And, um, you know, I want to talk to you more about like which ones mean the most to you and how we can. Um, <laughs> like, I could probably get that, rid of that. That's a little creepy. Like, I don't know if you're trying to like run some game and have guys over, but I, I would I would hit the door. Man. If I saw all this like crazy cat lady stuff, I would get I would get out of here. Oh but, my god. Um, yeah. It's just hard to hear your place get attacked. It's hard to hear the things that you love and the apartment you love get destroyed and ripped apart. It's not an easy thing, but you know what? Change is painful, but change is necessary. I feel like this space we're standing in right here is just a lot of open space. Is there something better I should be doing with this? Yes. We yeah, that My won't eye goes to that little desk right there that belongs here okay. with a cute little chair. This becomes a whole nother area for your writing. Okay. So cute. I disagree because oh. when you're writing, you want to be inspired, you want to look out the window. I say leave the desk where it is. I don't even use, I, I love noticed. this. I know there's like nothing in this. I was intending to fill it with alcohol, like to make it look like a classy bar, but I don't really want to encourage myself to drink that much. Yeah, right? And yeah. you can always take away the door and it's really going to accent whatever you put inside of it. I'm scared to ask, but what do you guys think of this chair? Like, you're going to make me get rid of this chair? Okay, you're going to hate okay, me, wait. but I love it. You know why I love it? It is so comfy. Oh, <laughs> oh see, this shouldn't be here. That's why. <laughs> that should not be there, but I love the color. It is what it is. I, okay. I don't think you should get rid of it because you're not really in a point where you're going to like be buying all new stuff. Right. I think we can make it work okay. cohesively if we add like a throw pillow that matches the couch and kind of we're going to blend it all together. Okay. I don't love it. I think it's a little busy and crazy, but okay. whatever, girl. It is busy. So am I. <laughs> I would ditch these like yes. weird blinds okay. and only do one set of drapes. Mm -hmm. And I think it's gonna give drama, it's gonna give color, and it's gonna tie in. So maybe we do it like a pure white or a yellow or maybe even a fun orange, and that's our pop of color. Yeah, I agree okay. with you that we need to do some drapes just for privacy, and it's gonna really like help ground the whole room. Um, and then I wanna get rid of all this stuff and put it in the hutch behind us. Okay. In me, my vision goes to, 
that piece right there, which is gorgeous, right underneath your TV and we'll simplify it with maybe a couple of books and maybe just one plant and just shifting things. I disagree with you because I know that she said she really wanted a space to be like be creative and for writing. That desk is really cool, but how are yes. you gonna write when it's covered with plants? <laughs> so this is my like half kitchen, half living room dining area that I don't use as a dining area. Cause I'm always like, I don't think I have enough space. I'm worried that if I have a table here, it'd be too bulky and I don't have people over that often. For me, it's back to shifting again. You yeah. want to have the elements of being able to entertain. So for me is how can you entertain and at least have three people sitting comfortably. This table right here, believe it or not, plastic or not, <laughs> I would bump this against the wall and I would put a nice, very simple, maybe just a white linen or something that's really, um, my focal point would be the accent chairs here. Well, all right, I'm curious what you think too. Um, I love the couch, but I think there's too many patterns. Okay. It, it's a little too busy. Sure. And I want you to be focused and I want you to be relaxed. And when you come home, you just <sighs> take a deep breath and exhale. Okay. <laughs> so the kitchen. Well, what are your thoughts? What I love about it, my first eye goes to it being all white. Okay. And when you bring in your elements of your greenery, which you have a ton of them, bring them in, it's gonna just bring you that much more of like, oh, ooh, I'm here to cook. And now, question, how often do you use this toaster? Yeah, be no, honest. That needs to go. Uh, not often enough. Okay. Get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it, right? <laughs> we will find and we will create spaces for you to be able to put this away and then the days that you do use it, bring it out. Okay. I wanna walk in here and have nothing on your countertop. Okay. Maybe a plant over here, some plants over here, refocalizing this over here. That's the drama. What I want to do is I, I want to paint this a really cool accent color, like a pop of color. Ooh, and then that use that good. same color for like these little knobs and accessories, not expensive can of paint you can get um, from, you know, a, a department store for okay. whatever, 15 bucks. One thing you might want to consider, I don't know how long you're going to be here for, but it'd be really cool to paint um, the cabinets. Yeah. I've never painted anything it, in an apartment. It's so cup. easy to do. Is it's it? I'm so intimidated. Easy. Yeah, no, no, it's you're fine. You're gonna be here with your paint brush. <laughs> I painted and I, oh, please. I do love for your suggestion of the accent wall though. Yeah. I, walking in, it's gonna be a subtle, pretty, like, Pink pastel, mm -hmm. like I don't know, peach. Maybe peach yeah. will make look, look go cohesive with all this. But to repaint and finish this, mm -hmm. girl, you were fine. I'm sensing <laughs> some sparks. I have like a couple tips on the paint too. Okay. Um, Habitat for Humanity is a great place to buy paint. A lot of people don't know that you can buy paint there. Oh, cool. Um, and they're all environmentally friendly. And the other thing is, is a lot of times when people return paint colors that they don't like, they put them on sale for like you know more than fifty percent off. That's a good so tip. So if you're open-minded with the color, for for some reason I feel like a nice navy blue in here would complement the couch and things like that. But if you're open-minded, you could probably pick something up for, you know, a quarter of the price. Cool. Yeah. But it's gonna take you a week of labor. Okay, I don't know what he's talking about. Like, I am so good at painting. Like, so, I could bang this out in like an hour. No way, yeah. no way. Yeah, this just pop all, an Adderall and go to town. All, <laughs> okay, on the Adderall. Tell me the importance of like your bedding space. Do you want to ever get married? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> See, uh, this is so comfortable, but I wouldn't be able to tell because of like there's a lot going on and it's not white and it's not inviting, but God, this is nice. It's cozy. <laughs> yes. Talk about this exterior lighting that should not be here, Bev. I love you, but no. <laughs> Hell no. No, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm no. happy to get rid of it. it <laughs> yeah, it's a little too wanderlusty to me. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all, let's do the let's do the bathroom. Initial thoughts. My eye is going to this greenery here. This with a matte gold that matches your lamp in the front would be beautiful. And just simplify it. Cool. I agree. It has to be simplified. Let's get rid of this. Okay. What I want to do is I want to put a, a floating shelf up here okay. with baskets so okay. that you can keep your linens up high cool. and out of the way. I just saw Meryl's apartment. I love it. There's a lot to work with. So the three things I really want to do for her is simplify, get her organized, get a lot of storage baskets for all of her clutter. Then I want to move some things around. And lastly, I want to graduate her into being a grown up and get her some really nice signature pieces that she can move with her wherever she goes next. And these pieces are going to have storage so that she can hide her clutter, which is the theme of minimalism. I love all the elements that she has here, like this little boutique thing that we got here. The drama's already here. I'm going to shift things around. I'm going to add white bedding and I'm going to do some fun elements of greenery mixed with like what she has here.
So my goal for this living room is really just repositioning, decluttering, but not in the sense of getting rid of things, positioning them other places. I love the couch, maybe a few more accent pieces as far as throw pillows. I really do appreciate him wanting to make over my hutch. I think the idea of taking the doors off could be really cool and might actually turn it into an entirely new piece and give me an opportunity to put some of my treasured belongings on display and maybe take them up off the floor. Walking into the living room, I want to add some places for Meryl to entertain. She mentioned she wanted to have more friends over. And I noticed that you have a desk. I see the desk, but not really, because there's so many plants on it. But I know you're creative and you deserve an awesome space to write. So let's clean off that desk and make it a multi-use area where you can use it for art projects and writing and all sorts of stuff. The idea of getting rid of a lot of my plants is really unappealing to me. That being said, I do realize there's probably a better way to organize them. So when I walked into the kitchen, my first thought process was like, who's cooking in this kitchen and where's the countertops? I wanna clean the countertops off and I wanna reposition them and I wanna walk in there and have a focal point and just repositioning like the pictures because then that tells me this kitchen is made for this look. The kitchen is small and there's not a lot of counter space. I'm gonna add some storage so that you have even more space to put some things. So in the kitchen, there's this awesome vignette where I wanna do an accent color and really edit down some of those pieces that she has hanging on the wall. I love the idea of having an accent wall in my apartment. I've never painted my own apartment ever before, so it just feels really adult. So the bedroom, what I'm gonna do is just reposition some of the items that she has there. I'm gonna actually bring in some plants, give some life to that bedroom. David also super encouraged my crazy plant lady aesthetic. It's not just an aesthetic, it's a way of life. <laughs> so I really appreciated that. The bedroom just isn't private and sexy. We need to get rid of the clutter. I noticed there's a lamp on the floor. What are you trying to light up, girl? I don't get it. I get it. Nobody likes the lamp. I'll get rid of the lamp. Next to her bed is this bedside table, and it's not even a plan. There's just things hanging all over it. The bed is beautiful. I love that. But what can we do to make sure it's like really squishy and awesome so that she can just jump right in there? Bathroom area, I really want to like give that life. I want to lighten it up a little bit more. It's a little dark. I want to add a couple floating shelves. A floating shelves will allow me to bring in the greenery, and it'll also give me the, an area to accent like maybe some pictures and just soften it up with, with some white towels. In the bathroom, there's just a lot of clutter and a lot of products. Let's create some storage so that you can keep all of those products hidden. Okay, this is really tough because David is willing to work with what I have and he's excited about the patterns that I've chosen and he's excited about the crazy plant lady thing I've got going on. He's also not making as many drastic changes. He's really just doing a larger reorganizing of the stuff that I already have. It might be a more comfortable change. It seems like David's makeover is gonna be less painful. Then we have Helene's. Helene's is gonna be drastically different. She's trying to totally upheave a lot of what I have going on and really make, I mean, a true, 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 true drastic makeover. I don't know if it's like a part of life that I'm in or a phase that I'm in, but I really am attracted to a radical change. I think in order to really notice a huge difference, possibly trying something entirely out of my comfort zone might actually be what I need to do. Okay. So Helene, I have done a lot of thinking. I looked at both the renderings <laughs> and I've decided to go with your design. Oh my God, that's awesome. Thank you. No, thank you. You You're put welcome. so much thought and time and effort into it and it shows. <laughs> I am overwhelmed with the amount of change. However, yes. I think maybe with your help, I could possibly bring it to life and make it a reality. Yeah. Is that something you'd be interested in? I would love to help you out, girl. It's been so fun getting to know you and I wanna make your place awesome and I would love to do that for you. Yay! <laughs> okay, you guys, let us know if you wanna see us follow up with this and actually make this project happen. We've got Helene, she's gonna lead me into, into my personal nirvana, so. <laughs> well, thank you, I'm excited. Yay! I'm in this place in my life where I'm taking a lot of risks, I'm kinda of just going for it in every way, in any way I can, and it's been paying off so far, so I'm gonna try to minimalize my apartment. <laughs> this could be so hard. Real talk here, she's gonna have to work with me about the plants. We gotta, we're gonna have to talk about that.